Welcome back, travelers. It is Slada Havoc, and we are back on a brand new series. Yes, I wanted to try something a little bit more challenging. So while doing uh, Infinity Evolved, I wanted to start another one. And so I'm checking out Project Ozone 2. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go, but I'm excited about it because, well, I started off with basically nothing. However, I do have two saplings, so that's cool. I was like, at first I jumped in, I was like, where's my tree? And then I saw I have two saplings. Um, so Project Ozone is just another Feed the Beast uh, uh, Skyblock kind of mod pack, I guess. And the reason I wanted to do this one was because I just, I, I, I know that there are modes like expert modes and stuff like that there. And I found out that this one has one of those modes. And so I want to do that on this series. So we're going to be doing Feed the Beast underscore mode set kappa and hopefully that'll change it and then apparently that just makes all my recipes really really crazy and makes it just so much more difficult which i love i love the challenge and being forced to try different stuff so all right so now we are in kappa mode and basically what that means is if i look up something like uh just an auto anvil that oh that, that recipe is the same. That recipe is the same. I kind of checked out some of these. What is a recipe that we make a lot of? Like uh, I don't know if thermal expansions in here. At uh, thermal, yeah, thermals in here. Okay, so normally I would make like a, a resin, you know, a furnace or whatever, right? But if I want to make this machine frame, I've got to make it on an assembly table, right? It's not just the normal ingots. Not to mention, um, like the basic one. I got to make this energetic alloy gear. And a machine chassis. And the machine chassis is not what it used to be. It's a basic comparator or uh, capacitor and then a crystallized redstone. And that is made on the assembly table. So, yeah. So, there's going to be a heck of a lot more challenges going on here, which I'm really, really excited about. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little platform set up. Because as you can see, I got nothing. It goes down and there's some of this wood down here, which I did break this piece of dirt to get down. And it is from Batanian. It's called Living Root. I've never heard of that. But one thing I know that there is a mod in here that adds is the ability to scratch the grass and get these little pieces of stone. So I'm gonna sit here for a really long time and collect the stone. And I believe the pebbles turn into, yes, into cobblestone. So that that's a quick and easy way to get some cobblestone started. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a little platform set up and then I'm gonna come back and we are gonna dive right in because there is a really cool quest book. I think it's called Better Questing. And this is really cool because this is gonna take me through everything. We are gonna finish this book. That is the goal for the series is to finish this book. So I got the first one which I got literally just for signing on and I get one floor of water and one chance cube. And then I get a choice of a loot chest. Ooh, a loot chest. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we've got that bad boy there. Let's see if we got anything cool right off the bat. A loot chest, a Starfield creator. I have no idea what that is. None whatsoever from Batania. So yeah, that's something new and different. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some stone picked up like this, and then we will be back once I get a little platform set up and we can really dive into the beginning of this mod. So we'll be right at the back. All right guys, so we got a little platform set up and I've made a few trees here and I just found the very first thing that is different about Kappa mode. Check this out. So I was gonna make my crafting table, right? And so I put my log in and I get one plank per log. I don't get four planks. <laughs> this is going to make uh, getting wood kind of interesting. So, yeah. So, there we go. <clears throat> but anyways, I can make my furnace and I want to make a couple torches and light this place up. Uh, apparently, I only get a slab furnace. Interesting. Okay. And so, we'll put a couple of those in there and we'll get some charcoal going. And then that way, I can make up a couple torches because I don't want any guys spawning up on here. It's already too big for my liking. So let me go ahead and grab like half of these and make some sticks up because yeah. And you only get two sticks. <laughs> so one log basically becomes one stick. That's awesome. That is awesome. And do I get like two torches? Is this going to be two torches also? Oh no, I actually get four torches. Okay. That's cool. So let's light this area up real quick to make sure that we don't get any unwanted visitors right off the bat. And from this, there we go. 
get this really well lit. I think that should be good. Um, I don't see any yellow X's, so I think we're okay here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I want to get some walls put up. Um, just because, well, it'll be a lot safer. <laughs> I don't want... You know, unwanted visitors are going to happen from time to time, but if they do, I'd rather not get knocked off by them, right? So we'll go ahead and get a nice little safety area put up. I did get one achievement while getting my stone to make my cobblestone and stuff, so we'll check on that in just a second. I don't know exactly what the achievement was, but it was while I was digging up stone. So if we go here and we go back, it was this one? Or did it unlock it? Can I claim? I can't claim it yet. It says completed. Oh, but that, okay, how do I, I just made a furnace. Do I need to pick you back up? Do I need, do I need to pick you back up? I don't have a pickaxe. I should probably make a pickaxe. At least get started. Oh, a hoe ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna cut it. All right, let's get these out of the way. Get a little bit more stone and then we can make our pickaxe. Pick that furnace up and hopefully that'll be good. I'm curious as to what I need to do to get a full furnace because obviously the furnace recipe is different. So let's check on that real quick and we'll do this, get some more cobble. Do you, there we go. So I got my stone pick now. That should be enough uh, charcoal to start. All right. Now can I do that? Still incomplete. What is the, is it? A different recipe for a furnace, really? I figured they were going to start me off easy, but I guess I was wrong. A regular furnace is with compressed cobblestone. No kidding. So I'm going to need, what, 8 times 9? I'm going to need 72 cobble for that. Okay, well, let's get to uh, schmacking the ground some more. And once I get this uh, <clears throat> 72 cobble, I will come back, we'll make our furnace, and we will get our first achievement together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we got all of our cobble built up. Now I can make the compressed cobble like so, right? Yes. And I need one more of each of you. Bingo, bango. Give me those eight. And then now a furnace. <laughs> that is so crazy to me. But we finished the quest, and so let's check it out. Oh, I also found out there's a button I can press. So I can actually go ahead and just donate you to the void. Bye. Okay, so we basically press our button here. I've completed that, I've completed that, so I select a loot case and I claim it, and let's see what we got. We got a disc, really, a disc, that's what we got. That wasn't nearly as exciting as I had hoped for. All right, well, let's go ahead and get a chest put together real quick because we're gonna need that pretty soon, I'm assuming. Like so, okay, I was like, don't tell me it's another crazy recipe for a chest. All right, and let's get some of this stuff put away for right now until I can get a little more organized. And let's see what our next quest is. Um, wood, okay. So 16 pieces of wood I can do. Saplings I got. Oak barrels, okay, interesting. Um, ooh, a flux infused crook, that's awesome. So what is the recipe for barrels again? Um, barrels are made with woods and planks, easy peasy. I've got some right here I can do. So let's get these barrels put together, except I have a feeling that, well, let's just do them all, that I'm gonna need to get more wood, all right? I think I said I needed six of these, didn't it? Okay, so we need to get some more wood. So let me grab some more saplings. And I was just doing four by four trees. Uh, it just, I don't know if it's, you know, any more useful but I figure you know I'm doing the twerk and you know twerking out to get the wood so if I do four or two by twos I just get more wood it all vein mines together so that's a good thing and eventually these other two trees should grow even if they don't I can just vein mine these up real quick and bingo bango there we go oh lots of saplings oh look at me oh 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 chill out all right, so let's go collect all this stuff up real quick. Why are you being so mean to me? Right off the bat, man, come on. I don't know why these, I don't know if this little aura node here, it's a mana flash from Batania, and apparently if you right click on it, it like gives you a book or something like that. 
or if you left click it breaks okay whatever oops i hope i didn't need that all right there we go so we've got our wood let's vein mine up some more and then we should have enough to get this uh achievement done so there we go all good i didn't get like any saplings that time anyway interesting um so let's go check on it i've got saplings i've got detect I've got the wood, I've got the saplings, and, oh, I don't have the barrels yet. Um, let me make a lot more of these barrels. I don't remember, can't do math in my head right now. Oh, I'm going to need 30 pieces, or 30 planks, okay. So, let's go, get out of there. Uh, what do I need, two more, so six, 12, okay. I'm kind of being sparse with my... Oh, I only need seven more. I'm like, I'm going to be as sparse with my wood as possible because this whole one-to-one -one ratio for everything is going to get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Uh, aha, there we go. Got it. So now we get this flux-infused crook, which means we can start getting silkworms, which will be awesome. All right. And a meteorite compass. That's really useful in a place that doesn't have meteors. Awesome. 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 Okay. So let's get some silkworms and we can start getting some mesh put together because I have a feeling that that's probably coming up pretty quickly. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the sieve. That's what I was thinking about. And then a mob farm. So we're getting into it pretty quickly here. Uh, the sieve, if I remember right, is just string. Um, a regular sieve. Uh, it's two cobwebs and nine strings. So I'm going to need 18 string. Okay, we can do this. So now that we have our flux and freeze crook, we should be able to, I see, still see sparkles. Okay. Let's see. Did they all grow? They all grew. Okay, cool. And we'll go ahead and vein mine this. Did I get any? Aha. I've got silkworms. Awesome. Awesome. That's what we were looking for. All right. So now I can start getting some string and get that going. I know it's such a slow grind at the very beginning with these uh, skyblock maps, but you know, it's it's just part of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and infest these real quick. Ooh, I'm gonna get a lot more. I'm gonna let these all infest over time and then we'll come back as soon as all the leaves are infested. And that way we don't sit here and spend a lot of time. While I'm doing that though, however, I am gonna place these barrels here hoping for some rain so we can get some rainwater as well as I can take a lot of these saplings that I've gotten so far like half of them and start making a little more dirt dirt would be really useful right about now so let's go ahead and fill these up with dirt and did I have enough oh cool it doesn't take all that much cool 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 so we'll have three pieces of dirt so I'm gonna wait until all these leaves start infesting as you can see they're going they are starting their infesting so we're gonna let those go real quick and I'm gonna continue to make some dirt. Well, actually I'm not because I'm waiting for this tree. So yeah, we're gonna wait for the tree uh, leaves to infest and then we will be right back. All right, so I thought I'd spend some of my time kind of useful and I noticed that the other one that I had to do right now was create a mob farm, which is something I can actually already start really, really soon actually because I'm getting so much of the cobble. So while that's going, I'm gonna do that. But I also wanna do one other thing. And that is, I got this one diamond to begin with and I hate with a passion, I hate cobblestone. Like I hate the look of cobblestone, it's just hideous to me. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a, a prettier area. So I think I'm gonna do this one right here, like that. And then if I remember correctly, you can, I forget. Yes, that's it. Oh, except they're not together. Well, that's that's not the one I want then. Um, Let's do this one. Let us do this one. And they do connect. Cool. And then there's a way. I forget. I, f I know there's a way to switch it so you can do larger areas. Uh, oh, there it is. Single panel, column, row. I think it's a panel. I think that's what I want. Yes, and it does three by three areas. That's exactly what I want. So I can kind of pretty up this area a little bit. And it's not just that ugly cobblestone everywhere. Although, am I hitting that block? That one right there. I don't know. 
There we go. Did I get them all? Yeah, that's all the right one. Okay. So then I can go through and do this real quick because that stuff's hideous. That cobblestone is just so ugly. It needs to be fixed. And so that's what we're doing here. Except I think I might be missing those outer blocks. No, I got them all. Cool. So I will have pretty cobblestone like right off the bat. Thank you for the one diamond to start with. Cool, cool, cool. And now I'm thinking it's time to, you know, start doing a mob farm. I don't have any other resources really to um, get a bit builder's one yet. That's that's asking a bit much. So let's go ahead and head out this way. Oh, I need my pickaxe. You're almost done. You're almost there. So let's grab our pickaxe. And we're going to head out this direction because it's opposite of where I'm currently working. Holy cow, that was like two uses. A, a pick gives me two uses. Hold on, it's already time to dig into Tinkers. That's just so crazy. Um, I'm gonna need you and you. Hopefully these recipes are the same. One, two, three, four, right? Like that. Okay, cool. So there's two of those. And then I need to make the crafting table. One, two, three, four. And that should just be like that. Yes, okay, cool. And then I need one of you with that. And that's gonna give me a part builder. I need you. And that's gonna give me a tool station. And I believe it's a plank. And one of these gives me the stencil table. All right, cool. Cool, I remember, I'm remembering this stuff. And let's get some of this stuff out of the way real quick. So part builder will go in the middle, stencil table there, and there we go. There we go. Tool state, perfect. Actually, I put those backwards, but it's okay. And the first thing, obviously, I'm gonna need to make is a pick. So let's go ahead and make that right there. And then I think I'm gonna need to make a binding, so I'm gonna need one more of those. Stencils, because I can just use wood, I think. Okay, there we go. Stencil table. I'm going to need a binding, like so. And then I can go to my part builder, right? Put you there. Can these pebbles work? No, they don't, but cobblestone will. Ha ha ha, there we go. So there's that and that. Nope, you're a whole piece. There we go. And a stick, and I should be able to do this. So bink, bink, and bink. Switch these two. Um, what? Why can't I make this? Why can't I? Only used to cast. <gasps> oh, Iguana Tweaks is in here, isn't it? That's what it is. Iguana Tweaks, I don't think you can just make cobblestone, which means I need to make gravel. And to make gravel, I can do the hammer. Like so, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And... Then once I do the gravel, I should be able to get some flint and I should be able to do that. So, um, probably a bad idea to do this. I'm going to stand on the dirt just in case. It's different cobblestone, but you never know. Ha ha ha. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now gravel. Now I can just do this, right? Um, I got no flint. I got no flint out of that. Um, can it be crafted into flint? Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So now I need to go back to my part builder and do it out of flint. I think we should be able to do that now. So flint. There we go. Right. Can I not use stone at all? Do I have to do a flint binding too? Okay, there we go. Cool. So, flint pickaxe. Good to go there. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Iguana tweaks really puts a hamper on some stuff. All right. And let's go ahead and just transition all this cobble to the, the pretty cobble. At least I think it's pretty. There we go. And we will start building out. And, oh, you're done. Let, let us get you first. Let us get you. There we go. Lots and lots of strings. Now we can start getting materials. Awesome, awesome. 
So let's go ahead. Wow, that was a lot more string than I was assuming. Two of those. And what was the rest of the P recipe? Oh, well, rest of the recipe for the sieve. There we go. Planks and sticks. Okay, I can do that. One, two, three, four. There we go. And bingo. Bingo. Sticky, sticky. There we go. Now we've got a sieve. Awesome. And now I can put all my stuff in here and start getting some resources. Let us check our book. See if we got anything fun. Complete. So let's get a loot chest done. Let us see what we got. We have a compact giant chance cube. I'm not messing with the chance cubes until I have a safe place to uh, put them down because those guys can be very, very detrimental. Uh, what we got? We got long range viaduct, viaduct and long range linking viaduct. Um, I'm not even familiar with those. What mods are those? Thermodynamics. Interesting. Okay. Well, cool. We've got some viaduct. I don't know if that's good or not, but we have it. And so let me get this stuff put out of the way. Ooh, more silkworms. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me get some more going while I'm while I'm here. Come on. There we go. So let's get this broken down and get some more trees planted. Uh, I don't need any more string, but I'm going to need more saplings and stuff so I can make a little more dirt. So we'll get this tree up and running. There we go. Keep going. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. And where's my crook? Oh, it's right there. And we'll go ahead and bingo bango you. There we go. And now we've got more. All right, cool. And then we'll have plenty of wood. So I'm going to head out and get my mob farm set up real quick. And then um, I think we will come back once I get that all set up because this is going to take just a second. I don't have materials to make a builder's wand yet. Um, I guess I could try to get myself some iron, but I don't know how long that's going to take. So I'm going to go start getting this mob farm set up. And then once the mob farm set up, I will be right back. All right, guys. So we've got our <clears throat> mob spawner done. I'm not sure how I like the look of it. I just wanted to do something other than the same blocks over and over again. So I used a little wood and chiseled out some cobble blackstone. But it is set and ready to go. It is three high, right? One, two, three high. That way I can get Enderman in there too. And hopefully mobs will start spawning now that I get back here out of the way. And we can get that going. Now I do want to kind of organize my chest a little bit because, well, it's getting cluttered and I don't like clutter. Materials in you, volume two. I'm already almost filled a chest modded minecraft you are crazy like that so let's check our thing um we've got the sieve we've already claimed that right yeah and um sieving montage number one uh 12 dirt i can do uh one rubber sapling and one seed interesting um oh yeah you get that from sieving okay cool and so dirt should be coming along i've i've made a little bit and I just threw all my saplings in here. So let me go ahead and make a little more dirt. And then we can start sieving the dirt, I guess. I'm assuming that's basically what that's hinting at. Let's try sieving dirt. Can you sieve dirt? Yes, you can. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's how you get the other uh, stones and stuff like that. So we, we got a seed of some sort. What kind of seed did we get? Not a lot of useful stuff so far, but I got a birch seed. So that's cool. So we're, we're taking a step in the right direction. Let me go ahead and twerk it out and see if I can get the rest of these trees to grow up real quick because this little small tree just ain't going to cut it. And let's go ahead and get all this up. I do love me some vein miner. <clears throat> Didn't get a lot of saplings that time though. Ooh, that could be scary because I think I just used all my <laughs> saplings. So I'm really, really glad I just got those. I need to remember to put one back in the chest. That's That's one thing I can't forget to do. Always got to have at least one sapling on you. All right. But I do have birch seed now, so that's cool too. So we can start doing some different woods as well. But let me go ahead and throw that sapling in there. So we're good. And that way we can get some more dirt going, right? Because apparently dirt is the way to go in 
uh, Skyblocks or Project Ozone as we are doing right now. And did those all grow? Yes, they did. And here we go. Come on. Give me a lot of saplings this time. A lot, a lot of saplings. All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I got one that time. This whole lot of saplings thing. Okay. These trees, they're obviously confused on what a lot of saplings are. And it's just not doing it for me. Uh, am I hitting that with Yeah, there we go. So we need to get a ton of saplings. I might... Well, I can't make shears yet. Is there wooden shears? I know sometimes there's some weird ones. Uh, mana, obviously not elementum. Dark shears, no. Precision, dark mana. There's not even regular shears. That's... <coughs> that's kind of scary. Um... That makes me worried. I don't know what all this mod pack has in store for me. But that does put a little worry that there's not even vanilla iron shears in here. So, there we go. Lots of saplings. All right. So, what I think I'm going to do... Oh, we've got monsters. Let us... Do I have cobble on me? I've got some cobble around here, yes. And let me grab these five right here. I wish I could undo those. Although, I'm going to use more, so it's okay. Let us make up some cobble real quick. So then I can make some gravel. And we can make ourselves a sword. Yeah, it's only going to be a flint sword, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so there's flint right there. And I'm going to need a stencil of a sword blade. Right. Um, this one right here? No, wait. Which one do I want? Let's, let's double check. I'm going to make... Uh, probably this one. All right, so I need the middle one, the little handguard. Okay, cool. So, oh, I don't have any stencils. That would help. That would definitely help. All right, cool. And bink, 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 bink. Four. All right, and this will be enough for four stencils. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's get those in there. So I need, I think it was this one. I'm hoping it was this little one right here and then it'll be a tool rod. Cool. Or just a regular thing. So let us, oh, I still had some in there. Cool. I can't make a sword, but, oh, geez. oh, but I can add a stone, which I just used. Isn't that annoying? Can I do this one though? Nope. But I can do that one out of stone as well. Okay. So apparently different tools for different things. So what I need to do now is get a little more. I don't need a lot, so it's okay. I think there are like one material use each, so that's not too bad. <clears throat> and I still got those 18 pebbles that I can use. Okay. So let's take you, make some cobble, right? And you, and make some cobble. And now, blade, there we go. And you, got you. And a stick. I need a stick. All right. So now I should be able to put you in there, you in there, you in there. Did that not go in the right direction? Why did you go out of order? What? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> Why? Why isn't this making my sword? Tell me it doesn't have to be stone as well. That would just be silly. Silly, silly, silly. Um, oh, I don't even have that pattern. Okay, tool rod pattern. Apparently, we're going to make a tool rod. Make this one. Okay, I've got yeah, the spare one right there. Okay, so is it going to be an all stone sword? Is that what we're making here? Um, like that? No. What? What is going on here? can only be used to make casts but it just it just said to make the store I can do stone um plastic it says stone right there does it have to be smelted let's try that I've got a moment I got a second here let I mean this is silly this I know this is silly this shouldn't have to be actual stone but <clears throat> who knows I need to make the sword so I can go kill some mobs. All right, let us see if I can do this. So if I do stone, yeah, it's still the same. Can only be used to make cast, not to make tools. 
Okay. But I can't make the stone, the sword out of flint. That's what you just basically told me, yeah. Um, it says I can. The material costs only one. <sighs> Do I need to start trying to get some materials, some metals? Let me try to get some metals real quick, and then we will be right back. All right, so good news. I can make a vanilla iron sword. Uh, I got some dusts. Uh, I went down and made some sand and some dust and then got some uh, powder dust or whatever. I need to make a second chest already. We're getting out of hand here. Um, one, two. There we go. Make another double. And then we can go collect some mob droppies too. And hopefully we've got a decent amount of mobs started over there. So I'm going to go ahead and basically empty my inventory real quick. And we are going to go check and see how our mobs are doing over there. All right. I know I saw some feet in there. It's really hard to see because it's all dark. Aha, I see some. Okay, so I see a bone here already. That's interesting. Oh, creeper. Oh, my goodness. Two uses and my sword is gone. Ah. Uh. Well, I guess the hand works. I wasn't expecting that, but okay. Alright, so let's get some mobs killed. We'll get this last achievement done. And then I think that'll be it for this episode because we're just getting started. And I think we got a lot done just for the first episode. It takes a long time to get a lot of this stuff done. I'll, I'll say that much. Come on, kill that creeper already. Guys, stop getting in the way of the creeper. All right, so I know I've killed at least two creepers. I'm going to feel finish killing these guys, and then once I get the um, achievement unlocked, I will be right back. Okay, so I just got introduced to something new. Uh, apparently, there's a creeper that starts playing the John Cena theme music and then just blows up. I couldn't get away. It was a sad, sad day. Oh, goodness. Back to the grind. Not once, but twice. All right, the long-awaited. I've been listening for an Enderman, and I finally got one. And we finished it. And I'm going to stay away from here for a while, because that creeper, ha! Huh? Oh, my goodness. But we got a couple loot bags in the process, and with that being said, I think that's how we're going to finish up today is, well, my chests are like all full and stuff. I was just stocking up on some cobble, but we've got all these loot bags that we can kind of check out and see if we got any goodies. And, uh, yeah, we'll get all that stuff sorted out. But we got our uh, mob accomplished, so we've got that. Now we have these lapis lamps so I can actually light up that area a little bit because apparently they don't change spawn rates and stuff, which is really, really cool. Like things will still spawn even in the lapis area. Oh, and then there is one other one I want to finish that I noticed. There's a Tinker's Construct one and apparently, which I did not know. Um, uh, oh, there we go. So we got the quest. Okay, so I already had them. Um, there we go. It's getting all of them. Sweet, 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 sweet. The Tinker's one right here, right? Yes. And so we'll get another loot bag. So let's see if we get anything cool. I did get a little bit of armor, as you can see right here. Some dark steel armor. It's all beat up, though, but at least I have some armor, so that's good. Let's go ahead and open all these up. we got some iron and an iron sword, which we now know is completely worthless. Some Certus Quartz and some artifact diamond armor. Ooh, what's that about? And some gold and a compass and some spectral iron. Some melon seeds and some iron boots, nether wart iron, gunpowder, coal. Okay, so at least I've got some iron or uh, some armor, which is cool. And then I've got these two chests here. That's uh, electrotine alloy ingot and uh, red alloy ingot. Cool. A jukebox. And you know what? Let's finish up the episode by playing some music. That just seems like a fun idea. Actually, I want to play that other crazy record that I got. Uh, it was blue one right here. So let's see what this is all about.
It sounds like a storm. Oh! Oh! That's a good way to finish right there. Let's check out this armor that we got. Uh, speed boost when equipped 5%, restore, restores health after taking lethal damage. Interesting, and it's Prot 8, which is much better than what I already have on. Awesome, awesome. And some boots, put those on, and a helmet. And now we got a full set of armor, and that is really, really loud. Let me... That's kind of cool. I like it. And we'll let that play in the background as we finish up. So we've got uh, quite a bit done today, actually. <clears throat> I'm quite happy with what we've got done. We can start working on some of the others. And I'm going to start uh, working towards some of these others in the meantime, in between episodes, like sieving this dirt. We don't want to watch me sieve dirt, obviously. So I'm going to keep going on my dirt right here. And apparently at some point it rained because we have water now. But I'm digging the music. That is really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, and then whatever else that we can get close to in the meantime, like, uh, this blubber tub, uh, tool, auto tool station, we'll find out about that, and, you know, whatever else is close, so, what do we got here? I enter way too far away. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to start working towards maybe automating a sieve system so we can start getting a lot of materials faster and all that fun stuff, but... I'm staying away from there for a while until at least I get a bow or something like that because I'm not messing with that John Cena creeper ever again. Ever, ever, ever again. And I've got some music to play to now. I'm actually dancing like in my seat over here. So, until next time, guys, this is Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. This is going to be a fun time. I am really, really looking forward to seeing how this plays out because... The fact that a freaking furnace took 72 cobble just to do a furnace, I think we've got some fun ahead of us. So until next time, guys, I'm Sutter Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.